All right, so let's go over some stuff we didn't go over yesterday. Look at, uh, first we're going to fill this up, then we're going to clean it. Uh, the other thing we didn't do was we didn't tighten the moderator down. I'll show you where the set screw is. I messed that up yesterday. The moderator unscrewed, and therefore it changed the point of impact. And so I was chasing a uh, different point of impact. So let's go ahead and start by filling this up so that it uh, has a chance to cool down. And uh, with this new V-fill, that's very easy. Just go ahead and attach that to here. There we go. Let's get her up to, we're going to go to 230 bar for the chronograph work. Just go ahead and let that go up a little bit here. That's an unusual hum I gotta ask about, but uh, I think that's just where that goes into the uh, gauge. So we're at, there's a little over 200 bar right there. I'm gonna go a little bit past that because I'd like to show it that it goes down. Um, there's 210, 220. And just a touch under 230. Let's see what the gun shows. <clears throat> yeah, it's still just a much easier to read gauge. So it's still about 220. Let's just go a little bit higher. There we go. That way we chronograph it. We'll have to overcome the, for the hammer spring so that it goes down. So let's let the pressure off. She's good to go. So let's come in here and let's uh, load the magazine up. There we go. It's a nice 12 shot. There we are. You can see we're about, uh, about 230 bar. So looking right down the piece here. Cock back. And let's see if we get... Uh, There we go, 876. Nine eleven. Nine oh seven. Nine oh two. And it's still a little over 200 bar after those first 12 shots. And just to show you how to uh, load the magazine here. Okay, so let's uh, just show you how to load the magazine. Just it's already shown around the thing. You just rotate it around, push a little bit past. You got to make sure you put your finger in there. And you just hold that first one for just a second. Obviously, you have to hold it for while you let it rotate back. There we go. And now it's locked in. Basically, you can see it just traps it there. And we're going to fill up 12 of these. Yeah, get another magazine so I can have a couple of them going at a time. It makes it a lot faster. Unlike the FX magazine, you don't have to index it in reverse, which is 
it's kind of a little simpler to think about here. So there we go. 36 shots and still about 160 bar. 48 shots, still over 150. So we're a little bit under 150 bar and it's still plugging along very nicely. So this is the uh, pressure at, we have 864. So it's about 120 PSI. 150 is part of the box.